Hi everyone, it's Kate and I've got another scrapbook process video for you today. I am doing a layout that I found, um, well I didn't really know where to start with this one um, to be honest. So when that happens I normally um, have a look at my, I've got a Pinterest board and I just pin um, different pages that I like. I choose one that, um, I chose one for this one that was particularly um, layered and I just use that as a starting point. Now every time I do that my layout ends up taking a completely different turn but I think that's that's part of the fun that you take one picture as an inspiration and you end up making it your own and, and making it something entirely different. Um, so I'm using the what's left of my um, September hip kits because I've made lots and lots of layouts with those this month. I can't get enough of the kit. The kit's just absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to let this sort of layout take me where it wants to take me. Um, I start by just pulling out various um, pieces of the pattern paper out of the kit and I'm just cutting out bits and pieces that I like and just putting them at the start over to the right hand side. So I'm just these are what I call a stick and plonk kind of layout. Um, so I just pull all the kinds of um, embellishments and backing pieces and layering pieces that I sort of like with the kit um, and just go with the flow with it really and just, just see how that turns out. So I do that for a few minutes. I would love to hear um, from you guys in the comments to see where you get your inspiration from. Uh, my main sort of ways that I get inspired is via Pinterest and I love Instagram as well. Um, so just while I'm I'm doing that and I'm putting my pieces together, guys, I've got to tell you about my Instagram. The worst thing in the world, <laughs> I know this is third world problems, um, but about four weeks ago, I lost access to my Instagram and I couldn't get into it. I've been trying and trying and trying to speak to Instagram ever since. Um, I must have, I've appealed three or four times because it looks like they've disabled my account and nobody I've had no response nothing um, I've spent hours and hours online trying to to see how I can resolve it um, it took me three years to build my Instagram account up to 1300 followers um, three long years I started on maternity leave um, when I had my son and I'm just absolutely devastated that I can't get back into it um, so from what I've seen online, it's some people, it's taken weeks and weeks to get a response. Other people have said that they haven't even got their accounts back. Um, so I have decided that I've, I've just created a new um, Instagram account um, and I'll just go from there. My new Instagram handle, I will drop it in the description. It's um, at Adore and More Create. Guys, I'd really, really appreciate it if you could go and uh, check me out over there. Um, that'd be amazing if you could and if you could share it with your friends that'd be even even more amazing and I would love you forever um I don't expect to get back to where I was anytime soon because of how long it took me to build it in the first place but it would be really nice to try and get um a bit more of a following back over there because that is sort of my main platform and where where I like to share things so if you could do that guys I'd, I'd really really appreciate it um, so anyway, enough of my boring saga and back to the layout. Um, so now I'm just going to start to um, pull everything together. And again, I just have a play and just sort of see where I like things. Um, I've pulled out m most of the stuff is from the September hip kits. But there's some um, bits of the foliage there that you can see are just um, some die cuts that I always have on hand. Just in the, the right hand side drawer just next to me because I think they always pull a layout together and just add a nice bit of detail. So I just have some some staples that I pull out there. Um, so I will leave you to watch me sort of play around and see where I like things to sit.
again, as always, I can't really always resist um, a bit of mixed media on the background. Um, so I think the, the Brazil cardstock, by the way, is in the September cardstock kits. And I think it's in the colour Ash. Um, so it's this really nice dark grey colour. Um, I'm just using some white acrylic paint, as I usually do. Um, and then I'm just using some splatters. The second colour is just another cheap acrylic paint. It's in the colour Sage. So again, I just water those down so that they're really runny and splatter those. So there is me just deciding how I was going to add my journaling because it's such a dark background. Um, but I didn't want to miss the journaling off this layout because the picture is, is in my opinion, the cutest picture ever. Um, I was working from home some of the, the lockdown period and I'm sitting on my laptop and my son decides to prevent me from working. He's going to stand next to me and actually hold my hand away from the keyboard, which you can see him doing there, which was the cutest thing. And of course, I stopped typing and then let him do that. 
Um, so I am just um, going to staple those down out of the way and then I just think I add the date stamp and some other detailing um, bits to the layout to finish it off. Guys, thanks ever so much for watching this video. Um, more than ever, if you could like and subscribe um, and check out my, my new Instagram in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it and I'd love to hear from you and I hope you have a good week, guys. Thank you. Bye.